Each and every day we take our lives into our own hands. And when you stop to think about that for a moment, it can be quite scary, whether out here on the water and especially behind the wheel of a car. Because at any given moment, a simple mistake on your part or on the part of others can change your life forever. And when the dust settles and the emergency crews arrive to do all that they can do, it still takes the complex work of a very specialized group within local law enforcement to determine what actually went wrong. And here in the city of Newport News, several police departments throughout Hampton Roads recently gathered together at the Newport News Police Department Headquarters building for an intense two-week course that put their skills to the ultimate test, focusing in on the intricacies of crash reconstruction investigations. This vehicle, vehicle one, what do you think that uh, approach angle would be just by looking at it? That's correct. So the approach angle of vehicle one, okay, is what? 180. Got that? We're teaching officers how to apply scientific principles to reconstruct accidents. Specifically, how to figure how the crash occurred and if it could be avoidable. So I would determine where the center of mass was during what maximum engagement, finished working on each other, and then I would measure the distance to the center mass, the same place I measured from, to final rest. It's not complicated, it's basic physics. And it's physics that's found in high school books and college books, and we're taking those physics principles, applying them to wrecks, and determining speeds and velocities and how they react to each other. They're going the same speed, have the same weight. Where should those vehicles end up? Who says upper right? Outstanding. This is the highest level crash reconstruction classes that we've been offered thus far. These kind of classes are great for us for the city, for the people of Newport News, because uh, it makes our work, our job actually easier and it makes our accuracy a, a better and when we go out and reconstruct these accident scenes to determine who, what happened and who was actually at fault. Who says here? I have learned a lot that I didn't know about the momentum and the physics of a crash. For 10 years I investigated the vehicle number one struck vehicle number two and now I'm learning why it happened and what happens afterwards. It's a two week course. It is very intensive. It is equivalent to two semesters of college. We teach students the basic principles of the physics that are being applied in their investigation. We tell them what to do, what to look for, and then next week we're going to be going out and we're going to be crashing cars and all these theories, principles, and concepts that they've been taught, they then have to apply and, and make and, and conduct an investigation from the stage crashes that we uh, produce. It's that simple. Nobody gets hurt. I'll say, ready? We'll get on the walkie-talkies, make sure everybody's ready. After everybody's ready, then we'll give a go, and then we're going to go forward. There's going to be physical evidence and debris, etc. It's going to be a crime scene, and as a result of that, treat it as such. First responsibility I have is going over and making sure that Gary's okay. It just goes against everything you should be doing. It, it's hard to make yourself do it. I've probably got a hundred and some now, 130 of these between hitting other cars and hitting pedestrians. But it's still, it's just an unnatural feeling to know that, hey, I'm about to plow into a car at 35, 40 miles an hour. It's going to hurt. And even though you know what to expect every time it's timing is an issue if i hit the wrong spot it hurts a lot worse because it makes a sharper impact so we we did calculations last night trying to figure i want to be right at the threshold of where it hurts a little bit but i don't really get hurt today is reinforcing the classroom theories and principles that we've taught all of these uh, officers during the past uh, almost week and a half uh, safety is the first issue when we're doing these crashes. Uh, there's always something that could possibly go wrong. Even as well as you plan it, something could possibly happen. This is the real deal. Now they're going to have to perform and show us that they can do the work. If they can do the work, then they'll be successful in the class. They should be successful out in the street. This one will be seven right there. What MPO Hughes and uh, Officer Monger are doing here is uh, working with our total station, doing forensic mapping so we can uh, recreate the accident or the crash that happened uh, down there. We're constantly training. Um, we try to be the best at what we can, and this training out here today just proves that, that we can 
that we can come out and train and we can actually do what we do and when we go to court, if it ends up in court, that we can honestly tell the judge this is what happened and we can actually prove to him and show him on paper what happened and, and not have any second guess with anybody. What I love more than anything, I love to see a student's eyes light up when they get a concept and when they understand the concept or they work a wreck like one of these stage wrecks and they come up with a speed that is exceptionally close to what we know the speed is. That's what I do this for.